Round one. Hello, and welcome to Inside Boxing Throwdown. My name is Steve Johnson, Raleo Martinez. This first segment, we're going to talk about this recap this past weekend's fights, Raleo. None bigger than Saturday night, where we had the MGM Grand Garden Arena, Las Vegas, Nevada, the main event. Manny Pac Man Pacquiao taking on uh, Timothy Deborah Desert Storm Bradley Sorry. in a welterweight fight that wasn't for a title, um, but at the same time, it was an exciting welterweight fight, allegedly exciting welterweight fight. The undercard was packed with uh, top-ranked talent that they wanted to showcase, as Bob Irwin said earlier a couple of weeks ago, rising top-weight talent where they had featherweight Oscar Valdez, mm -hmm. um, uh, super lightweight uh, Jose Carlos Ramirez, and uh, super middleweight Gilberto Ramirez. That's right. So in action, okay? Radio, your impressions. Let's start off with the undercard. Let's go first with Denver's <clears throat> Manuel Manny Perez, who was taking on uh, Jose Carlos Ramirez, the 2012 Olympian. Um, that fight was a 10-round fight, actually, for the WBC Continental Americas title. Okay, good. Okay. Well, you know, uh, uh, of course, uh, top ranks uh, kind of bring in uh, their, their boxer, uh, Ramirez, up, and uh, he's an Olympian. Mm hmm and of course, uh, you know they um, they felt they wanted to give him a test. You know, top rank does that with their prospects. They're not they're not uh, this this isn't the, their first ride around the park. You know, they they it's know not what their they're first doing. rodeo. That's yeah, right. well, in the east side, it's around the park. You know, so <laughs> so 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 anyhow, uh, they know what they're doing, and basically uh, they were going to give him a test because once they start, he's uh, uh, Ramirez is at the stage now where they're getting ready to pump big money into him mm -hmm. so, and they want to make sure that they can you know get the dividends in return and make sure he has what it takes so uh, who better than to bring uh, Manos uh, in because Manos a tough tough uh, tough guy that if you sleep on him he's gonna he's gonna take you mm -hmm. and that's what they wanted to see and I'm gonna tell you what good fight good fight uh, uh, Manny uh, uh, took uh, Ramirez uh, the distance to 10 rounds mm -hmm. that's strike one against Ramirez Okay, that's strike one. I don't care how you look at it. It's strike one against them. Okay, when you talk about a company thinking about putting, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars into your upbringing, uh, that's strike one. You know, because they uh, Ramirez was, you know, giving them body shots to the opponents that he's been fighting and, and putting them out, hurting, putting the hurt on them. Mm -hmm. He couldn't put the hurt on on uh, Manny. Mm -hmm. I mean, he uh, he outscored him. He won the fight decisively, but he couldn't do what I'm sure Top Rank was hoping to see him do against uh, a good opponent. So that's strike one, okay? Strike two, he didn't seem to hurt Manny, and Manny kept kept being the aggressor, kept coming at him. Although he was getting hit and, and <clears throat> getting uh, tagged, he kept coming along. So he couldn't gain the respect of Manny. Strike two, strike two against him. So uh, he got one strike left. So now we'll have to see what Top rank's going to do with him. Are you going to go ahead and back him up and give him another another tune-up, or are you going to move him forward uh, so he can go on and uh, contest for a, a world championship? What, what exactly are you going to do? So I'm going to be watching this. It's ang I'm going to be anxiously watching to see what Top Rank does with uh, with Ramirez's career. I will disagree with you only on one thing. I, I do think that you know um, the fact that Manny Perez. Um, wasn't stopped. That didn't shock me. Manny Perez is not an easy guy to stop. What did shock me was that Perez in the eighth, ninth, and tenth rounds uh, withstood the onslaught from from Ramirez, which um, I, I actually watched the fight at the um, Twin Peaks restaurant. Um, thank you, Vernon Johnson, um, for that. And um, the, I sat at a table with three guys who didn't know anything that, about me and didn't know anything. Okay. Okay. And mm -hmm. I just listened to their conversation. And the 8th, ninth, and 10th round, all three of these guys, their comment was, wow, man, this Perez guy, what's keeping him up? You know, Ramirez okay. was hitting him. He was hitting him with everything he had. But, agreeing with you, Manny Perez is a lightweight. Okay? Yeah, exactly. And this kid is a super lightweight. Exactly. So okay. why, why? How come he couldn't stop Exactly. Him? Okay. So Especially then, when you're teeing off. Well, and then I, I'll, once again, let me back up a little bit mm -hmm. because we know that Manny Perez has only really been stopped by one person lately. And that was Victor Ortiz, who was a legitimate welterweight. Mm -hmm. So Manny Perez is not an easy guy to stop. So I don't know if I can take that away from Ramirez. He did everything that he could do to Manny Perez in that fight last night, except stop him. I do. I'll take it away from him. Okay. In a minute. 
I, right. I would have to, if I'm the promoter, I would evaluate very strongly as what I'm going to do. Now, do I put the hundreds of thousand dollars into this kid or do I wait a while? Me, I'm going to wait a while. Okay, well, let's I'm talk about, let's, move, let, let's talk about somebody, if you want to worry about who you're going to put hundreds of thousand dollars into, I would have to say it would be Gilberto Ramirez, who fought um, Arthur Abraham. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, that's a guy who I would question. I mean, you know, everything that I know from everyone around the country, all of the other um, analysts were saying, you know, uh, they understand about Ramirez and all. Arthur Abraham um, was a guy who had looked to me like he came in. He said, "I know what I'm here for." Yeah, he's I'm, an aging fighter. I'm, I'm gonna check, check this guy fighter. and see what kind of yeah. medal he's got. He couldn't stop Abraham. Now there's a guy, 36 year old. He's 36 years old. Ramirez is 24 years old. 33 and 0 with 24 KOs, and he couldn't stop this guy. Well, let me tell you, I agree with you. We're not. You're not going to get an argument that the first time I saw Azurdo. Okay, tall, Mexican uh, kid, uh, um, uh, and everyone, you know, the, the Mexican community was all high on this guy talking about, you got to see this guy, you got to see Azurdo, you got to see Azurdo, uh, you got to see him, this guy's, this guy's the next thing. I saw him in that fight, man, that guy, he didn't impress me a bit. On a scale from one to ten, he was like two, okay? <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't even know what he's still doing in their camp. I mean, this guy, this guy is a waste of money, Okay. Because when you put him in there, you, this is this is someone you're gonna have to watch real careful if you're gonna get any any return on your money, okay? Because you definitely can't put him in there with anyone that that you want. Try, okay, put him in there with uh, with Andre Ward. Oh, no, no, no. That's, Come on now. Insane. Come no, on. He can, now. No, that, that, that would be anybody. He'll never be that. ready for Andre Ward. Never, 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 never. Okay, so okay. they can forget about that. You know, they they, they he's 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 uh, he's a waste of their time. Well, let's talk about okay. a guy that, uh, from that, from what everyone saw last night, they'd have to agree that um, featherweight Oscar Valdez, Oscar okay. Valdez showed that he is the guy of what we just talked about. If you're going to invest your money into, that's the hat you want to throw your, your I agree. Uh, the ring you want to throw yes, your hat sir. with. Yes, sir. Um, he actually took apart um, Evgeny uh, uh, Gradovich. Yeah. Took him apart. Yeah. It was, I mean, that's that was obvious that early in the first round it was going to happen. Yeah. Um, he hit him with overhand right and basically ended the fight, but. That was a guy that was, you know, no problems there. Oscar Valdez, I think he he can be the real deal. He can he can be he can be uh, 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 someone they want to put money into and investment in, and and they'll most likely get a good return on their investment. But let's go on to the main event. We got a few minutes left. Okay, the main event. You know, Manny Pacquiao. First of all, let's let, let me say this right off the bat. Um, earlier this morning, late last night, Manny Pacquiao said that he's retiring officially. He okay. said on the, the post interview. Well, he said um, I'm, that, he said that I'm thinking about it, but um, no, Dan, he said he was. Dan but, Raphael reported earlier this morning that it's a done deal. Don't oh, forget reported. Dan Raphael. No, the Dan lady, Raphael, the lady, whatever you want to say about the, the, it. The, yeah, he, he is. He's, he's, he's good. But I'm saying it, that's old news because the lady that went into the ring and did the post fight interview, she she put it right to him when he was talking about, it, and she says, "Are you saying you're retiring?" She told him that flat out, and he said, "Yes." No, you you saw something different, something different than no, I saw. No, no it, because he said it, I got a commitment to my family, and he would he say says, right now I would say yes, but I have to I have to think about no, it. No, so he, he told it. he told his lady yes. He says I got to go back to my my country and take care of my people, take care of the best I can. And then she says, okay, are you saying you're retiring? He said yes. Okay, well let's get on to okay, the fight itself. But, hey, you, we, let's talk <laughs> about Tim Bradley. Okay, uh, Timothy Bradley got knocked down twice. The first one in the seventh round, eh. The second one in the ninth round, oh. And uh, it seemed to me like at the you know start of the tenth round, Timothy Bradley knew that he needed a knockout to win the fight. He knew he couldn't knock out Pacquiao, or he didn't have it in him to give it a shot. But most disappointing to me, really, was once again Teddy Atlas. Teddy Atlas starts just screaming at him, you know. Yeah. Blah, 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 That's blah, what he does. Blah, blah, blah. That's because what he does. But Bradley showed his total frustration in himself, and rather than try to uplift him, I, I didn't get a chance to hear what. You know, because the place was so raucous. But I didn't get a chance to hear if he said, call him another fireman or fireman? whatever. <laughs> now, I don't know if that, that happened. Well, right. I, but talk about Teddy Ellis. Right, let me tell you something now. Uh, let, me, let me just step back a little bit and let me just say one thing, okay? I saw the same Timothy Bradley, okay? Everybody, everybody was, that's 30 seconds, but we'll, we'll, we'll extend it a little bit. Okay. Uh, everyone was saying how much of an improved fighter uh, uh, Timothy Bradley was because of his exactly last right. outing and the firemen the screaming because uh, of the big show and the big uh, spectacle that uh, Teddy Atlas did <laughs> now now Timothy Bradley was reborn he was redone he was re reintroduced to the ring with with the best uh, trainer in the world 
and now he was going to be be uh, on his way to, to big and, and better things. And uh, well, all I'm saying is that um, all I'm saying is that I saw the same Timothy Bradley that I seen for years and years and years. Nothing spectacular. As a matter of fact, I saw a degrading in Timothy Bradley on the fact that. He wasn't pressing the action the way he usually does, coming in with his big head and trying to headbutt. He wasn't coming in forward, and he wasn't being aggressive. He was trying to move, and he was moving back, playing into Pacquiao's hand. Because that's Pacquiao. Pacquiao likes to be the aggressor, move forward, and he did that all night. He did that all night. Uh, he does that with the young Pacquiao. Oh, yeah. He gets fights over. Yeah. Fights over. Okay. So there you go. I didn't see any improvement. I saw the same same uh, uh, Timothy Bradley or a degraded Timothy Bradley from his uh, previous coach. On that same tone, uh, tone I'll agree with you 100%. I think that was the right move for a uh, Manny Pacquiao to re retire because the exact same things you said about Timothy Bradley, I saw that in Pacquiao. Like you said, the, the Pacquiao from five years ago, he destroys that, that Bradley that we saw last night. Without a doubt. He didn't have it anymore. I think he re recognized it because he knows after that second knockdown, the fight was his. Yeah. Go get him. Go get him and take him out. He couldn't do that. But Hall of Famer, first ballot, you know, uh, no he's, question. He's, he's, he's in, you know. And by, all means, by all means, what Pacquiao has contributed to boxing is enormous. It, it, it's a good thing. He, he, uh, he was good for boxing. Uh, uh, he says he's going to retire. I honestly think he will because so. cause, cause he, he's got his mind on – life after boxing and the politics i mean you know this guy has eventually uh he eventually has has uh, uh a vision of running for president and i think oh, the philippines uh, the philippines and i think he's going to be good because i really think he has the people at heart i do politics can change a man so we don't know we've seen it before we don't know but yeah right now today i think his mind is, is the right mindset he wants to go back and and play the political political game so that he can uh, uh, be a asset to the people of the Philippines. Okay. All right. Having said that, uh, we're in this first segment. We'll come back with the next episode where we will talk about upcoming fight action, and then our third episode, which will be the once again the world famous, the now world famous. Come, come on, on, man! That has generated right. so much, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, viewership across the country, and 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 it's just amazing that it has, but. We bring it to you on that with our own version of what we think, the think is ridiculous. Baby. All right. Till the next episode, baby. Mm. Keep them hands up. Keep them up.